David Wilson in the ball game at tailback, number four. And he'll get the handoff right at the middle. Bounces off the top. Oh, he's loose. 25 at the foot. 29 yards. And uh, Wilson, a young man, they're very excited about. Good blocking up the middle. Poor tackling there. Three guys came together for the Wolf. Heavy for a track guy who's either long jumper or triple jumper, but just right for a running back. <laughs> Perfect. Play action. Taylor with a good fake. A lot of time. Gets it out in the flat. And he hits David Wilson. And David gets hit immediately by Nate Irvin. And listen to the response from Bring that, that make the linebackers and the strong safeties have to come up. And studying them on film, it seems that they love that deep route, but they don't layer something underneath. So when you dump it off to the running back, there's nothing. You could see that that uh, low line on there that he had 16 tackles last week against Georgia Tech. And who is it again? Hello, mate. Hello, the game when you're gone for a year. Watch how quickly he reads this. He's coming forward. It looks like that was going to be a cross blitz between the linebackers. Give credit there to Mike Archer, the defensive coordinator. But Looking, steps up into the pocket. And it's going to be knocked down as he crosses the 30 by Nate Irvin. To a couple of guys that are former head coaches. To me, a defensive coordinator for many, many, many years. No first down here. Going to be shy of the line on that one. Watch the defensive lineman pinch to the inside and Irving step along. And, and nobody step around. Nobody from Virginia Tech gets up on the linebacker. The left tackle. Andrew Lanier is supposed to be able to Taylor under center this time. Straight back to throw. Far sideline. And the ball tipped with a shotgun formation. Blitz coming off the corner. Quarterback keeper right at the middle. Great idea. And all of a sudden that hole just closed. And it was Kuhn who was there. Marcus Kuhn. Evans going to take this one out across the 15-yard line. Tailback for the Hokies. Tyrod Taylor pulled that one down, and now he's under heavy duress. And he's just going to have to run out of bounds, and it's Audie Cole who will. They've been building on that through the offseason and right into the fall. Second down, it's Evans. Hurdles the man, has a hole. Cuts it outside at the 30. And now out to the 37-yard line. And that's Nader. Younger at fullback. Opens the hole uh, almost enough for the first down. Third down. Needs to pick up a couple. That penetration. He took it to the outside and he's loose. Evans down the near sideline. Gets by the two. David Wilson into the backfield at tailback for the Hokies. And they send him out in the pass route. Looking, gonna run it. Tyrod Taylor up the middle. Oh, what a move at the 10. Turns it back to the sideline. Knocked out of bounds. Gotta kick that field goal. And to me, this feels like if you don't score a touchdown, I just, you get the sense NC State's gonna come out quickly to the line of scrimmage. Taylor gets the snap, hands it off, and uh, the back trying to sweep the corner. He is knocked out at the line of scrimmage. Maybe. Smith in motion. And go with a running play. Evans turns the corner, has the first down, plus about five more yards. He'll take it to the 40. Darren Evans, they try the left side. It's a nice job by the pursuit people, particularly linebacker Nate Irving, who was out there. They'll go from the shotgun formation. Gets the pass away and incomplete, looking for Coates. Three interceptions, it's all good coaching. North Carolina State trying to get somebody on the field late. That's the reason the flag came in late. Because the yardage 345 with the three picks. Very, very large in this ball game. And they'll keep it on the ground, running for the end zone. And the scoring is Evans with 28. And he came under 30%. Get in the backfield, and the Noles won't get it. High Jones, the power back. 
Well, how about this offensive line getting smoked at the point of attack right in the middle of the field. The right guard who's filling in, Brian Stewart getting a start tonight, didn't come down with the right angle, and the nose got right in the backfield immediately. So first and ten for the Knowles. No keep it on the ground with Jermaine Thomas. Thomas gets down to about 20 yards. That's impressive. This time, Thompson slipped the tackle. The speedster slipped. Ponder. Completes his pass. That was tied in Bo Relic. presented by Kane Jordan. He's time. Third and short. Jones, who had the 34-yard run to get the Seminoles in position. For the little perspective, and for the statement, hope he gets six here. Ponder on the roll. Christian going to try to take it himself. He did a couple of big hits. Oh, stretch for the point. I'm not so certain that he was down, that that ball didn't get across that pylon, or at least touch it. Get a good look at it here. He touches the pylon, not down. Not a defense trying to rise up. Thomas. Two of six on third down tonight. Ponder. Christian. Inside the five, he's got the first look they got in the fourth quarter against BC last week in their last game, where it's the design quarterback run. Ponder's legs are really on left guard. So let Ponder throw it. Ponder runs right. Good enough. Touch this because he gets called into duty, and what does he do? Comes down and watch the creaming blow. Beautiful job. Last year. Takes a break as Rodney Smith checks in at wide receiver. On the ground this time. Ty Jones, who's got the first half of Carter Finley Stadium. Ponder. He's trying to run for it, and he flips it ahead, and he's got the... This is now Mike Archer and Jock to to try to come with the pressure off the outside, and you just get an air, though, throwing on first down. Seminoles will run it into the open field, goes Todd Jones. I stayed, I believe it's Nate Irving on the backside. He runs beyond it, 56 ran beyond the play. Throw the one to do tonight. Ponder. Pryor just got a... <laughs> All this time, NC State's front and Nate Irving got to the quarterback, forced the issue and... The tail punch. Reverse. Alexander's got it, and then the Wolfpack not biting on that one. Nate Irving was there along with Manning. Watch the speed by middle linebacker Nate Irving right here. Watch how fast he's able to scrape down the line. Once he sees misdirection, runs upfield, he's able to make that play in the back. But that's why he's the semifinals for the Cardinals. His 10th interception of the season. Thompson had to Nate Irving all over him. I don't know about you guys playing like the old Nate Irving now, right? This is the automobile that you were talking about, Craig. It happened in June of 2009. He was returning to campus from his parents' house. About an hour drive or so, and he was... Play it safe. Burt Reed. Ponder trying to get a block. Stayed at home and was disciplined. Now let's watch red jerseys and see the pursuit and chasing Reed on the outside. This is a dynamite receiver with a lot of... Second and seven. Turning to the outside is Jones. Jones will not make it to the first down. Irving is not on the field. Teams score points against us. And at this juncture in the game, tied deep down in their red zone, they have to have their defensive leader on the field. Well disciplined. And O'Brien, my boy, what a nut. O'Brien, he was looking to the right the whole time, and Nate Irving came up the middle. And as soon as O'Brien, Nate Irving, come up to the line of scrimmage, and then he's going to come at the snap. And he's unblocked. They just bring one extra guy to place for this NC State defense. Second down and 16. And that's the best running play of the day. Almost got out of there, but watch the block right there. Number 76 on Nate Irving right there. And that almost 
get it also helps this patchwork offensive line because they don't have to protect as long and they run the draw but no chance you could see Darrell Scott had absolutely NC State and Maryland in an important ACC game. I'm Dave Lamont along with J.C. Pearson. Homer Washington and NFL defensive back and he would have made a better bit of coverage on that. He's broken tonight. Eligibility left. The most impressive thing here is he's rolling to his left. This is a tough throw to make. Keeps his eyes down the field, and now he's got it. Airlines at ABC, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. You might watch Saturday Dame USC. Go to ESPN.com and search Matt. Danny O'Brien searching for a receiver downfield. Find one. Let him out of the pocket. Watch squeezy number 52, or or actually that's 42, Audie Cole, coming on the outside on the pressure. And he's out the year backing up Madsen, but is normally a starter at guard. Here's Smith on second and seven, and once again gets it complete to Austin. And Austin shakes loose and runs out for another Mountaineer. Tight linebacker. Here's Devine now. Noel Devine, who has had such a need to get to the 30. Smith, pressure comes again, and he goes down. All the way back in midfield, it blocked five that time. Number four in the nation. This will be sack number 41. And on the outside, you see just a great job by Augustine. Smith, they set it up to Sanders. Looking for running room, and he finds it for the first down. Keeping him healthy. Austin now comes in motion into the backfield with Smith. And that is batted down at the line of scrimmage. Third and eight now. Pressure right up the middle. They set up the screen to Devine. Devine trying to get to the edge, and he does for a first. Smith. Here is Austin, and Smith. Great okay, clock down to one. Pressure up the middle from Irving. Smith. This is a team that has 41 sacks. You see the pressure. They bring six. You can't block them all. Irving, talented, 6'3", 225. Good things headed in the right direction at NC State. Third and nine. Smith. A lot of time. And we're getting... Here is one of them. Noel Devine. Sanders in motion out the backfield on third and six. Austin now. Nowhere to go as Brian. For Geno Smith on third and nine. Smith steps up in the pocket. Divine. Big hole. No Divine comes back against the grain. And Divine fumbles the ball. Irving. At another angle. He may miss spring because of it, guys. Just another obstacle that West Virginia's been facing is here he connects with Smith. Third down and 12 now. Desperate for something. Smith incomplete was trying to get it to take trouble selling tickets to either one of those schools. They're all showing up out there. Smith. <laughs> trying to get it. Boise to James Madison. They Outside that we had a job. They were good. And Geno Smith has not had the night for the North Carolina State defense. I mean, they're coming off of two games where they just got whipped by the North Carolina offense and the Maryland offense. Yeah, tonight against a quick, fast team, they knocked around receiver, they took the ball away, Irving had a tremendous night, so a lot of credit to that North Carolina State defense. At the South 37-yard line. Oh, cut it all the way back. They had a great really Heller Jr., the running back out of the run. And if he'll bend it all the way back, okay? Now keep coming all the way back. Look right there. You got a chance for a one-on-one -on -one with DeAndre McDaniel, and you don't take advantage of that. So only a gain of two. 
Kaepernick's going to run it and not go far with it as he was planted by Danzy. Nice job avoiding pressure, and then he throws it away. Mm -hmm. 